Kevin Hart, the comedian. We're super excited to react to him today, see a deeper side to his personality, his background, and his rise to fame. We're gonna show you the real deal. You got the VIP treatment. I love how the Viking over here is just trying to create a handlebar mustache or we call him the I'm Monopoly. I'm just trying man. to keep it out of my mouth. I love I'm how a lot of people it. online have called you Brock Lesnar. Oh, that was good. I got goosebumps. I mean, Brock Lesnar is a beast, bro. I mean, that's kind of a, a compliment. A compliment. As a compliment. How do you I, feel about that? I mean, that's all right. I'm used to it. You're used, <laughs> You're to, used it? to Brock Lesnar? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, yeah, speaking, get... of, speaking of Brock Lesnar being really big, Kevin Hart's really small. Mm -hmm. call, me, call me a little gummy bear. <laughs> so let's go and just react to what he's got. Yeah, we all think of him as a comedian. Uh, I've seen other stuff where he talks about business and life, so I'm excited. Let's, let's do see. it. What's significant? I really almost died. Wow. My what? kids and all that. Like, what? As I'm moving so fast, I didn't even have everything dialed up for if said thing were to happen, what would... Oh, because I'm, I'm out here, I'm just roaming. I'm out here aimlessly mm. living and no I'm purpose. moving so fast. No I've yet to grasp the true concept and reality mm. of responsibility mm. immediately. Mm. Let me get my responsibilities in order. Because if that had have been, yeah, what the hell is dude it would have been a lot of people with their hands up as to what, how, when, fame is great, the lights are great. Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, number one, number one, number one. You got a lot of friends. You got a lot of people to love you. But then you start to, well, what really matters? Mm, what that's really when my matters? mindset started to change. Good question. That's when you go, okay, my approach to just me and working on me, it needs to be different. Mm. I've contradicted myself a lot since, you know, you know, I want to slow down. I'm going to make sure I give my family more time. I have. That doesn't mean that there can't be more. Mm. The day-to-day -day battle of am I giving enough? Am I, guys, you know how much dad loves you. I'm here. I'm like, you know, always working to make sure I do more. But is it enough? Mm. Mm. Am I a workaholic? Okay, but that's not a bad thing because I'm, you love to work. Yes, you do. That's a passion. You get, you got something that you go after every day. That is a driving source for me. I'm not in the business of letting that go. But, boy, you better put your hands on these people and make sure. Mm. You better make sure that you are giving the time wow. that you said you would Man, if when you were in that time of solace. Okay, all right. I'm constantly talking to myself. I have yeah. these conversations all the time. That's the beauty of taking my little runs, the beauty of working out, being in the gym. Yes. You talk to yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. You better talk to yourself. You better have conversations, figure out a yin and yang of good and bad. For me, it was about personal involvement. After mm. that accident, mm. wow. and still trying, man. It's the biggest yeah. battle. It's wow. the big, the biggest battle is just doing right all the time. Mm. That's wow. a battle. Yeah. And knowing you're gonna get it wrong. That's a battle, man. When I go to a mm. restaurant and they bring out a plate, the waiters say it all the time: "Don't touch that plate. The plate hot." You know what I do, Jay? <laughs> you know what I say after <laughs> I touch it? It wasn't that hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they told God, me not to touch so the plate. Yeah. Mm. He said it's hot. Yeah. But I still gotta I still gotta go and touch the plate anyway. <laughs> it's a battle. Mm. So being okay with understanding that I'm going to lose mm. and win in this battle, and this battle is not over until the day I'm in the ground. Wow. Wow. Because you're not gonna get it right. Nope. You're not gonna get it right. And there's people with this idea and this mindset and mentality that you're going to get it right and everything's going to be perfect. It's not. Don't play that perfect game mm. because all you will do is get let down because perfection does not exist. I do wow. firmly stand on wow. that and believe that. Absolutely. It doesn't exist, wow. man. You should try your hardest to get things right in moments where you got them wrong. Figure out how to never get them wrong again. That's, mm. the, that's the world of compromise that's the world of growth that's the world of evolvement mm. wow wow what a stop. powerful stuff man that was incredible wow. kevin hart wow. ladies and gentlemen he is not just a comedian he is he is a, a smart deep. individual he is very, very deep smart. i love how vulnerable he was he, yeah. he opened up about the struggles that men go through the mindset challenges of you know balancing work and family and raising kids and you know 
not being a perfectionist all the time, learning to take an L every once in a while because that's actually a part of the process and the journey yeah. yep. that men go on is that life is hard. It's not always easy. You're mm. going to come up against challenges that smack you in the mouth. And it's about the responsiveness that he's shown the resilience in his life to where he did not let that stuff define him. He didn't let the mm. car accident that mm. almost killed him define him. He didn't let his his Jeez. his wife yelling at him and his kids screaming at him after coming home from a comedy tour where women were just throwing themselves at him. Like, what does that feel like to be of that much that fa- that famous and still keep your head on, like, and keep your mental fortitude strong? Well, even without the fame, man, time management is a huge deal because i mean most men struggle with having too much time on their hands right but for <laughs> men who are actually striving to do better and level up and you know i work like 80 hours a week and if i'm not working i'm in the gym two or three hours a day and it's like you know having having a fiance or having a wife or having kids right. it gets to a point where it's like man you only see them you know just a short amount of time every day yeah. and it's it's hard to balance man it's hard to juggle there's not enough time in the day it's it comes down to taking time for what matters most and you have to think about that in your life man what do you value most in your life you know i want to be extremely successful i want to be a millionaire someday i want to be able to provide money for my legacy and my generations to come but i don't want to do that if i lose my family i don't want to do that if i if my daughter who's 3 is 15 years old and i don't remember the years leading up to that it's about finding a balance in your life where even if you are as as successful as Kevin Hart, which he's worth hundreds of millions of dollars, he realized I can have all this wealth, I can have all these things, but if I don't take a time to stop and question what in my life is the most important to me, then time is going to fly by. The most valuable asset in the entire world is not oil. It's actually your time. Yeah. You know, what you dedicate your time to. That is the most personal, powerful thing in your world. And it kind of gets me to even reflect. We're creating this podcast. We want this to blow up. So please subscribe. <laughs> but uh, I don't want to lose my family in the process. I don't want to come home at nine o'clock and I'm a shell of myself because I'm so tired that I didn't have you know, I couldn't spend any time. There is a certain amount of time that us as men have to go into the lab that we have to focus on our work so that we can provide for our family. So mm-hmm. if you're working a lot, I'm not talking down because we're doing the same. I mean, I edit this podcast and I'm editing 40, 50 hours a week on top of my other jobs and everything else. But I don't want to lose my family in the process. I don't want to lose the little things. I want to be able to watch a movie with friends and be able to enjoy it because I feel like I've earned that time and I'm valuing that time. My time is so much more valuable now. If I'm wasting my time for an hour doing something that doesn't matter, I kind of reflect now and think, did I should I have done that? The so, sacrifice is yeah, really important it's, because yeah. if the sa- things that you want in life in order to get to that level of status that Kevin Hart has, you have to sacrifice a lot of things. Yeah. And unfortunately, he doesn't really have balance. He can say he does, but I think I know, he's learning balance. I he's know learning. his work ethic. You know, I've seen it. I've I've watched his his you know documentary on him. I've seen his TV shows, his movies. The man is constantly working. Constantly. He's I mean he's one of the hardest workers in Hollywood. And you know there's a lot of respect actually that I have for him. Uh, he's been through you know scandals left, right, and center. You know that he his wife is still with him. They fought through it. They you know they decided to come out the other side. And, and still remain together, which is, you know, shows a lot of mental fortitude and his ability to maybe step down off his high horse and say, you know what, I really screwed up. You know, I, 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 I'm sorry for what I did. And he's, he's a publicly apologized. But I think for him, the mental fortitude of going to the gym, having that positive self-talk, as he was talking about, where you go to the gym and you, you have to talk yourself into a mindset change. It doesn't yeah. just happen naturally. You have to have brothers around you and men that will have that positive reinforcement to help you to level up. Yeah, and I mean this even this even delves into a, you know a topic of why it's important to develop passive income because yeah. you know you yeah. don't want to be seventy years old and still that's a good point. You know, working eighteen hours a day and not have time for anything at all. You know, passive income is probably the only sustainable way to. Be able to work hard and actually have something to show for it, which is more time down the road to 
spend with family, spend with kids, yeah, spend with friends, while also still being able to develop yourself. It's tough because us as men, we need the drive to work and to make money. That makes us feel like a strong man, a man of value. But it's a balance of life. Kevin Hart said it right. When he got in a car accident, he reflected on his life. He's made hundreds of millions of dollars. Is that what is the most important? Yeah. Ha- Once you get comfortable in life, things become less shiny to you, right? When you're when you're poor, when you're in poverty, the idea of getting paid five hundred bucks for something, you feel like you're wealthy, right? It's the same thing with millionaires. When you become worth a hundred million dollars, what really is the difference between that and a billion? I mean, unless you're trying to buy yeah. private jets and yachts all the time just for luxury. But even then, there's a something in science that I've I researched back in the day. I don't have you know a link or anything for you guys, but it says whenever you get a new shiny toy, your excitement and your dopamine response that comes with that only lasts for about six months, and then it's as if that's just another part of something and you're not really excited about it anymore. You know, when I got my car, I got like a 2017 Camry back in the day. The first six months I was like, this is my car. Like, I'm so proud of it. I'm excited that I have it. And now I'm like, I never even think about it in that way. It's just a way to transport, right? So as you level up in life, realize that your material possessions, it's nice to have, but if that is at the cost of your family, what are we doing? You know, and so that's something that I'm really glad Kevin Hart talked on. We'll probably react to other videos that he's done. I've never seen this. This was the first time I saw this clip and it really speaks to me as a man because I have I have a kid. He has kids and I don't want to I don't want to have to almost die in order to have this realization. Yeah, I don't don't, I don't get wanna, to the point where you have to yeah, die where live, you're close to death to realize what's important to you. I think yeah. that's ultimately what he's talking about. Exactly. Is when you look in the mirror before you go to bed at night. Are you happy and satisfied with your life? Yep. Are you happy and satisfied with your day-to-day, you know, experience? If you're not, then wake up. <laughs> wake up. It's okay to wake up. It's okay. it's okay to see the inadequacies in your life and identify them and move. Yeah. Move on, move forward, conquer, conquest. That men to, in today's society, we don't have the same type of mentality that men thousands of years ago had that had to sur- survive for their family by killing other people. I'm not saying we're doing that today, but find things in your life with your brothers that brings purpose and meaning to your everyday experience. Don't sit at home on the couch all day and think that your life is going to get better. Because as soon as you get into that state of complacency, depression will creep in, anxiety And then it will affect every area of your life. Your wife won't be as attracted to you. Your children will think that you're a failure. You have control over your life. You have control over every single thing that you do. Anybody that tells you different is a liar. A liar. A liar (laughs) from the pit of hell. You don't want to die and get before God and he said, you could have done something better with your life. You wasted this time. You wasted this many years. Man, imagine going before God and him being like, you know... On average, you wasted 7.4 hours a day. And if you had spent them on this and this and this and this, you could have been this. Yeah, if you're going to waste time online, watch our content. So that things are... Yeah. (laughs) We want to encourage all the men out there. It's not a waste of time. I'm just saying I think we add value, but let us know. Do you like what we're saying? Who knows? I want to encourage all of you men out there to know that you are powerful. Yep. You have a choice. Every single negative thought that you have in your mind is yours to deal with and you have the power to overcome. Every single thing that Kevin Hart's talking about is a journey that we, he went on to be vulnerable to change his life and his outcome. You can do the same. Just because he's famous doesn't make him impervious to pain and suffering, but he embraced it and he moved on. We want to encourage you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe to our channel. When we get to 100,000 subscribers, we're shaving Isaac's head. Dude, did you get a haircut? (laughs) Not recently, I I, I guess. And he's going to walk around in a dress. I would prefer a Carolina Reaper pepper because that's more manly than me putting on a freaking tutu. And shaving my head, okay? That's not even a punishment, because no one's going to look at you weird for it anymore. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> you just had to insert that into it. <laughs> so the Viking. One hundred thousand subscribers. We'll eat Carolina Reaper peppers. And you know what? Comment. What do you want us to do when we reach milestones? If you want us to do something wild, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Next week, we are gonna start. Uh, on our different social medias and shorts on YouTube, we're going to start doing workout videos. We're going to show you what this guy yeah, actually can do in the gym. Yeah, so, ah, so stay tuned for that. Also in the description, we're going to have a lot of books that we recommend people to have. Um, everything from Kevin Hart's books to David Goggins, books that have impacted our life. And also if you click that link and buy it, it also helps support the channel. We also will have our supplement. So if you want to look like the Viking, who a lot of people say now is Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Purchase those and um, it really helps us out, guys. We appreciate it. But remember, 100,000 subscribers, Isaac shaving his head. So you're so hell bent on me shaving my head. What's wrong with you? <laughs> All right, guys. We appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace. <laughs>